delete, 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 obsolete, obsolete. Literally marking the hell out right now because uh, the Hardy Boys just returned uh, tonight at WrestleMania 33. And what is going on, you savages? Uh, welcome to your quick WrestleMania review and results video, recapping you guys on everything that happened tonight at WrestleMania 33. And I gotta let you guys know that the main show was actually not that bad. I'm not sure if it was because I was marking out for the Hardy Boys. And if that is the case for you, do me a favor. And if you marked out when the Hardy Boys came out, make sure that you guys smash that like button just so that I can know because I'm honestly still hyped up that they return to the WWE. It was honestly insane and the best moment of the night and I actually want to start up with this highlight of the show. After so much news and rumors that I have been covering all the way back since the Royal Rumble, it finally came true. Halfway through the show, we had the triple threat tag team match for the Royal Tag Team Championships. Out comes the new day and indicated that this was going to be a fatal four-way tag team match instead. And who, who is the fourth team the hardy boys i jumped out of my seat i tried to tweet something but i couldn't because my phone dropped so i just kept on jumping on top of it because honestly i was just way too excited it's not the fact that the rumors came true it's the fact that i didn't believe the rumors myself so when it finally happened i was actually speechless literally the best moment of the night if you know matt hardy and jeff hardy and what they've been doing for at least the last two years then you know that these guys have been the most over superstar anywhere including the WWE and yes without being the WWE needless to say that the crowd was going crazy with all the delete chants and obsolete and brother Nero who obviously did a swanton bomb from the top of the ladder the big one by the way so just this single moment honestly made this Wrestlemania better than last year's Wrestlemania which is a plus in my book hell I'm now looking forward to watch Monday Night Raw tomorrow night and yes just because of the Hardy Boys there were some other Wrestlemania moments as well but I want to go back and start all over to the beginning of the night and then build our way up all the way to the main event so for the kickoff show we had three matches the first match we saw Neville retaining his cruiserweight championship against Austin Aries and this was actually a good match but it kind of sucks that we're watching in the network and we still have to go through commercials second match of the kickoff show was the under the giant memorial battle royal which Mojo Raleigh won this match thanks to the help of his New England Patriots friend talk about backstage politics and I I do want to mention though that there were no surprises in this match which is very unfortunate third match of the kickoff show which was a surprise to me it was the IC title match Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin and we saw Dean Ambrose pinning Baron Corbin to keep his intercontinental championship and then to start off the actual show we had AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon which I did not see it coming but I felt that because the Raw Tag Team Championships were not first I felt like something big was gonna happen in that match and it did nonetheless AJ Styles defeated Shane McMahon in a decent match because the ref was knocked out by AJ Styles at one point. Giving Shane McMahon the chance to be a little bit more hardcore, he ended up doing the coast to coast with the garbage can and also the announce table was broken. But in the end, AJ Styles picked up the victory. In the second match, we had Kevin Owens picking up the victory and winning the United States Championship from Chris Jericho. This match was honestly not too crazy. I was expecting a little bit more from it. But up next, yes, we had the Hardy boys returning to the WWE and winning the Raw Tag Team titles in the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team ladder match which I already discussed and I'm still marking out for it. Actually before the ladder match we actually had Bailey retaining her Raw Women's title with a tribute to Macho Man as she picked up the victory with an elbow drop. Oh yeah! This was an elimination match. Our first elimination was Nia Jax then Sasha Banks and then of course Charlotte and then is when it came the ladder match which was followed by by Nikki Bella and John Cena versus Maurice and The Miss. And John Cena and Nikki Bella picked up the victory fairly quick by the way. I definitely felt like this match should have been given a little bit more time. Highlight of the match was the fact that John Cena proposed to Nikki Bella. And uh, yeah, she said yes. That match was followed by Triple H versus Seth Rollins which was actually a pretty good match. It wasn't still match of the night because I still think the match of the night was the latter match. Not just for the Hardy Boys but because they had a lot of spots in that match.
match. But this Triple H and Seth Rollins match was also pretty good. And at one point, we even had Stephanie McMahon going through a table as Triple H pushed her off the ropes by mistake. And that was definitely a good moment. Nonetheless, in the end, Seth Rollins picked up the victory and got his revenge against Triple H. Following that match, we had Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship match. And this was a fairly short match as well. But the good thing about it was that it was actually a quick match. And there was a lot of back and forth between both guys. There was a lot of mind games from Bray Wyatt. As there were about three times during the match where different intents were actually projected in the ring. While Randy Orton was on it, it was honestly disgusting if you were eating. I'm sorry for you that you had to watch that. Nonetheless, even after all the mind games, which is kind of confusing to me, Bray Wyatt still lost the match. And Randy Orton is our new champion. Once again, the rumors come true. And then we get to Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg for the Universal Championship which was pretty much a 4 minute match just 2 minutes shy of the time that it took them to actually make the entrance. Nonetheless after about 3 spears by Goldberg and a jackhammer but most importantly after about 15 suplexes within 3 minutes Brock Lesnar finally got his revenge against Goldberg and he is your new WWE Universal Champion. That one was over quick so I'm actually glad for that. I'm more happy about the fact that this was also not the main event but before the main event we had another rumor coming true and that is that Naomi became the Smackdown Women's Champion this was another match that only lasted like five minutes so it was very hard to actually be invested in it because there was not enough time for it to pick up but nonetheless like I said in this six-pack challenge Naomi picked up the victory we also didn't see any surprises in this match and then we get to the main event Undertaker versus Roman Reigns which it clearly ended up being the main event because it looks like this was Undertaker's last Wrestlemania. At the end of the match, Undertaker was indeed defeated by Roman Reigns. Before walking out of the arena though, he took off his gloves and put it right in the middle of the ring as well as his hat and walked out of the arena without it, symbolizing that he is basically done. The match wasn't the greatest and I gotta give it to Roman Reigns, you know, he kinda was doing a pretty good job going against The Undertaker. This match did end up being a little bit sloppy and I'm not necessarily going too hard about it because to be honest with you guys the streak was over when Brock Lesnar defeat the streak so at the end of the night if this is the Undertaker last Wrestlemania then he should be putting somebody over and honestly that's exactly what happened but anyways guys uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of Wrestlemania this year overall I'd probably give this Wrestlemania a 7 out of 10 and honestly that score alone is more than likely due to the fact that the Hardy Boys return but anyways you savages uh, thank you guys for watching make sure that you guys help boy drop that like button and if you are new here stay tuned and subscribe to this channel to be fully up to date on everything wwe news and rumors and also coverage on the next wwe game once again i thank you guys for watching we're in the world to 20,000 subscribers i'm to dig it